Good morning, class. Today, we are going to be talking about the second law of thermodynamics. Meet Bob and Gary. And now they're gone. And they're back. This is Bob. And this is Gary. Both are healthy. Shit, those are big. What is essential in life? Food. But Gary wants to try a no food diet. Let's watch what happens to the idiot. While Bob continues to eat a good normal diet, Gary decides to stop eating and drinking over a long period of time. Gary, what are you doing? Eventually he's gonna explode. I'm serious, it's gonna be scary. Oh shit, he's, he's dead. Wow. Bob even brought a rose. That's kind of him. He's dead. Let's get that out of the way now. So, what happened? Let's figure that out. Why did Gary explode? Even though in reality it would take a longer period of starvation and dehydration for a person's body to disintegrate, and probably not in the way that happened to Gary, we do need food to maintain a healthy bodily state. This can be explained through the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states, in an isolated system, the energy of directional motion is converted into random motion. The entropy of a system would constantly increase unless external energy is provided. The hell does that mean? The second law of thermodynamics states that any system which is free of external influences becomes more disorderly over time. Biotic bodies take advantage of this law and use it to disturb the state of their system, themselves by adding external influences. For biotic beings, an example of this would be like nutrients, like food. This allows biotic beings to live by using external influences to continue lowering their entropy. This occurs on a microscopic scale and can be seen visibly at a macroscopic scale. Unfortunately, not all of the energy is absorbed. Thank you, Bob. There we go. And now the definition of entropy. Entropy, the degree of disorder or uncertainty in a system. Thank you, Merriam Webster. Couldn't have done it without you. To make sure you incompetent individuals at home comprehend this, imagine what happens to DNA as it is being transcribed. If entropy is the increase of randomness in the universe, the universe favors high entropy, meaning that it favors disorder and randomness within the universe. Living things tend to have low entropy. By organizing their molecules in a specific arrangement allows living things to disturb entropy through the second law of thermodynamics. If your DNA didn't do this, you would end up like Gary. Confounded Gary, get out of the frame. Exams might be around the corner. You have a pizza stain on your shirt, and your hair is a mess. But you are not in high entropy. Bob. Well, the entropy of a system is a measure of the different possible microstates of a system. And microstates refers to the positions and speeds atoms could have. Let's take a closer look. Too close, too close. Up. Oh, there we go. I think that's fine. Bob, what are you doing there? Work is done to make something happen such as, according to the second law of thermodynamics, reducing entropy in our bodies. That would not otherwise happen without the input of energy. And where would animals get such energy? The answer is food. Animals can take the sorted chemical energy in food and transform it into mechanical energy, chemical energy, and heat. All this is done to make sure that our body's molecular state is highly organized despite the fact that our body's outwardly appearance might be highly disorganized. So the next time you don't feel like you need that slice of pizza, think second law of thermodynamics. No one wants to end up like Gary. Damn it, Gary.